Thank you, Mr. Speaker. About a year ago, it was 4 a.m. in the morning when I got a call from the uh, West Palm Beach paramedics. Uh, they had received a call from my mother's Apple Watch, believe it or not, uh, and they rushed to her apartment and they found her lying on her apartment fl floor. She had fallen and broken her hip. I stayed close as she suffered through surgery and hospitalization and rehabilitation. I counted the endless medical bills uh, paid by Medicare and, and her own personal funds. I watched as my independent mom became fearful of living alone and moved into an assisted living facility. Mr. Speaker, though, I want to just tell you, there is some very good news about my mom. She's alive and well and adapting to her new lifestyle. She uses a walker and aging uh, has reduced her stamina, but her bridge partners will tell you she still has a very sharp mind. But listen to this. Her surgeon told me that the, her recovery at her age, which is 90, was 96 at the time of the fall, was an exception. That most her age after a brutal injury quickly sundown to death. Now, Mr. Speaker, you may ask, why am I telling this story? Because tomorrow is the first day of fall, and not only are the leaves turning, uh, but it marks the start of Fall Prevention Awareness Week. Uh, a nationwide effort to raise awareness that falls are preventable and also bring awareness to fall prevention strategies and resources. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, after my mom fell, I started hearing story after story from friends and colleagues about their own personal experiences uh, of people who had fallen. And, and you know what I, what I learned? Falls are the most frequent cause of injuries and injury-related death among people over 65. 36 million falls a year, people over 65 here in America, leading to broken bones and broken spirits. 34,000 of those becoming deadly. And the cost, this is an amazing figure, the cost to the American health system is $50 billion a year from uh, injuries related to falls. That's a billion with the B. So here's the most important message I have today. Falls are preventable. I'm going to say it again. Falls are preventable. And there are simple things that seniors can do with assistance from their doctors and their family and their friends and caretakers to stop the falls before they happen. Here are some of the top tips for Centers from Disease Control. Make sure that medications don't have side effects that can cause dizziness or loss of balance. Stay hydrated, hydrated. get eyes checked every year. Uh, and because mo most falls happen in the home, make critical changes like installing grab bars, clearing uh, tripping hazards, and making sure that the rugs are flat on the floor. And if necessary, use mobility aids like walkers and canes when needed even in your own home. And there are also simple exercises that seniors can do to improve joint strength, especially in the ankles, to help improve balance and stability. Uh, and I'm pleased to say, Mr. Speaker, that the House uh, Labor, Health, and Human Services budget pluses up fall prevention, research, and programs in the 2023 budget. And I'm hoping that the Senate will go along with that. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I call on all my colleagues uh, to recognize this week as Fall Prevention Awareness Week and help me spread the word. Falls are prevent preventable. It's on all of us to keep our loved ones on their feet. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I